a new concept in saving lives in active shooter incidents. As first responders arrived at the Las Vegas shooting scene, police were not the only ones wearing bulletproof vests and Kevlar helmets. Firefighters and paramedics were also wearing body armor. Uh, CBS 13 Steve Large continues our team coverage from the newsroom tonight with this new approach to save lives and the push to get Sacramento firefighters that gear too. Steve? It's called the Rescue Task Force. Firefighters teaming up with police to get inside these active shooting scenes. It can save lives, but it can also be expensive. We have an active shooter. We have an active shooter inside the warehouse. These heart pounding pictures and sounds were especially haunting for Sacramento Assistant Fire Chief Chad Augustine. The first thing that I thought, and just like any American or any human being, just devastating. I thought, how could any one person do that? But then the very next moment is, what if this happened in Sacramento? It was only a few weeks ago, Sacramento held a massive outdoor concert, Common, playing at the Capitol. That was actually the first thing that I thought about, was we had over 20,000 people at a concert in an open area. Um, what if this happened? at that event. Video shows Las Vegas medics wearing Kevlar helmets and bulletproof vests at the shooting scene. In Las Vegas, the medics work with police to provide immediate medical care during active shootings, even if the scene isn't secure. It's called a rescue task force model. So right now, Sacramento as a region doesn't have a rescue task force. Sacramento's fire department has trained with law enforcement to deal with active shooters, but right now there is no rescue task force model in place and no specialized equipment to protect medics yeah. called to the active shooter scenes. We have to evaluate how we would perform in that same environment. Augustine says the model requires regional police and fire agencies to have the same communication systems, and local governments would have to fund the equipment. We should be at the table today, tomorrow, um, coming up with the details of how we're going to get that program to be successful. As active shootings become more common, the business of saving lives is changing. Augustine also told me that uh, buying uh, armor for every single firefighter would cost uh, the city of Sacramento about half a million dollars, and the firefighters' union would likely also have to sign off on sending its members into shooting scenes. Well, I know that the sheriff in Las Vegas had great things to say about the program. I thought it made a huge difference there. Steve, thanks very much for that. Appreciate it.